Welcome back to City Scene TV. As noted at the top of the show, we're now going to meet with April DePredis and Ruth Rodriguez to discuss human trafficking in Ventura County. April is the Human Trafficking Initiative Director with Youth with a, with a Mission locally. And Ruth is a mental health therapist, marriage and family therapist, registered intern with Interface Children and Family Services. That's a mouthful. <laughs> Both are part of the Human Trafficking Collaborative called the Ventura County Coalition Against Human Trafficking. Welcome, ladies. Thank you. Welcome, ladies. Thank you for Thank coming. You. Um, let's first talk about the Youth with a Mission. Please take a moment and give us an overview of the organization. So Youth with a Mission is international. Um, we have a multicultural staff of over 20,000 full-time volunteers from the founder who founded Youth with a Mission in 1960 um, to date anyone with Youth with a Mission raises their own support. So we volunteer to do the work globally around the world. Um, we have, we're in 180 nations. Um, we have every year about 400, probably over 400 students going through our colleges and um, courses, seminars in 650 uh, nations and we have um, languages in those um, classes we have 97 languages yeah. um, a couple of the things that we do I would like to mention is our YWAM Mercy Ships and YWAM Mercy Ships is medical ships um, we have 25 vessels and several of those include very large medical ships that have hospitals right on board that go to the places that you can't get into by foot and um, perform whatever operations that need to to happen. Now did you say YWAM? Yeah, so okay. Youth with a Mission, other known as YWAM. Okay. YWAM. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I see that. www.ywam.org yeah. is the website. Okay. Well, we're also going to talk about uh, Ventura County Coalition Against Human Trafficking. When was that created, April? We created, we, uh, BC Cat. Okay. Okay. Was formed in January of 2015. Okay. And we started with a steering committee, a core team. Um, there's 18 agencies, a part of that steering committee, that have met every month since. 2015, January. Um, they're comprised of local and federal law enforcement, the district attorney's office, probation, social services, and several nonprofits in the county. Um, we're, our mission is to partner to prevent, prosecute, properly identify victims of human trafficking and uh, provide services oh, to absolutely. victims. Um, yeah. So interesting. I mean, dark, but interesting. So, Ruth, what is your role with Interface? Sure. So, I rejoined Interface in 2016 in the fall to help support the capacity building and the infrastructure internally within our agency to begin to be the first agency in Ventura County to provide direct care, comprehensive services to adult survivors of sex and labor trafficking and also to support the community in building an infrastructure uh, to carry out those services as well. So we keep reading about human trafficking in the news. Yes. Um, and it's shocking to hear when it happens in Ventura County. How prevalent is it actually here in Ventura County? So it's human trafficking is not a new crime at, to Ventura County. Mm -hmm. It's just in the past it's been categorized um, under prostitution or domestic violence. Mm -hmm. So it's been since we formed VCCAT in 2015 where the team, the collaboration, is going out to bring awareness and get the training out there so that victims can be identified. Mm -hmm. um, something I didn't mention is VCCAT is focused on both sex and labor trafficking, mm -hmm. uh, adults and children, and all genders. So are, are the victims involved being trafficked primarily for sex or is there other things that they are being trafficked for? Yes, so what we're mostly seeing in Ventura County are survivors of sex trafficking. However, we've also seen survivors um, be exploited for labor purposes and some survivors even be exploited for sex and labor purposes. So what we really want our community in Ventura County to know is that 
um, labor trafficking happens too. And we want to really bring awareness and not forget about those countless survivors that have experienced that type of exploitation as well. So you talk about labor trafficking. What are the types of labor trafficking that is out there? Yeah, so many youth, many adults have been forced to work as nannies, um, also known as domestic servants, being forced to cook, clean, take care of kiddos in the home. We've also seen people forced into farms for agriculture work. Uh, we've seen people forced um, into working into restaurants, hotels, um, yes, as well as bars, and even and traveling sales crews. Mm -hmm. I, oh my goodness. You know, um, I have several other questions, but I'm just kind of sure. curious as to how do you identify something like this? Because let's say I hire a nanny, like would it be an organization or a business and then they would have someone working under them and I would never know? Or sure, what are the, some of the signs you would see? That's a great question. So for labor trafficking, I feel like it's often not recognized or talked about because um, especially with domestic servants and nannies, um, it's it's hidden, right? It's out of sight, and a lot of times that's not really regulated. Um, and then when we're talking about labor trafficking, sometimes what we've seen is that a lot of um, companies will contract mm -hmm. out. So maybe there is a big parent company, and they hire a contractor to hire workers. So maybe the big parent company isn't even aware that some of the contractors are um, recruiting people for forced labor. But wow. signs that you might notice for labor trafficking is, you know, just people being sold a dream of a better life, a better chance, a better opportunity, um, and and it, and it's really based on a lie. So, I, I'm sorry. I just feel so strange to think that it's happening here in Ventura County. Mm -hmm. But it is. Mm -hmm. It is. It is. So um, since we just begun providing those direct care services in 2016, uh, we've already had 21 inquiries and referrals um, come through our 24-7 hotline of um, victims, service providers, family members looking for support. And of those 21 inquiries and referrals since um, since August 2016, 14 have been victims, and one has been a family member looking for looking for help. Mm -hmm. wow. Now, um, there are certain programs or ministries that are involved with the help to fight trafficking. Mm -hmm. Correct? Mm -hmm. uh, is there like names of, or ministries that you you know of right now, or are you talking locally or yes, locally? Or any programs that help to fight trafficking? Yeah, so, so, so VCCAT actually has, I mean, each agency within VCCAT is fighting this. Okay. Yeah, working together. Um, one of the things that Interface and us and the district attorney's office is working on is educating staff in hotels. Mm -hmm. um, sex trafficking and labor trafficking both can take place in hotels. Mm -hmm. And several of our last um, human trafficking cases have been uh, sex trafficking out of hotels and motels, um, which you can see those on our website, the vccat.org website. We always try to update public cases on there. Um, so that's one. So the main thing is we do collaborate together um, on these. Uh, in a few weeks, the DA's office and myself will be training cab drivers. Mm -hmm. um, and so it's the different entities within the collaboration of VCCAT that are working together, getting the word out there, mm -hmm. letting people know what the signs are, getting the first responders trained so they actually know what to look for because many times they've seen victims for years but they don't know it because they didn't know what to look for. So right. that's one of our goals and that's what we're, you know. Education. Exactly. Education and awareness is key and it's also key for prevention. The more you're educated and aware, the more we are going to prevent this from happening. Is there a certain age range that character characterizes the victims or anything? Or? No. Okay. Um, no age range. Can be any age, any race, any gender, uh, any educational background. Do you want to speak to that? Sure. And at Interface, we provide services to adults 18 and over. So we've worked with victims that have just turned 18 to individuals that have just maybe celebrated a 50th birthday. Oh, my goodness. And what, where countries are these um, people from? 
Well, some people might be surprised to hear that the majority of victims are actually born right here in America. So they're U.S. born. Um, but other victims have come from places all over the world. They've been um, recruited from places like Mexico, Central America, South America, and even Southeast Asia. Mm. Well, thank you so much, ladies. This is so, I mean, I could, I could spend hours with you. Is there something that we haven't covered? I know we're coming to the end of our show that you would like to, the public to know. Um, well, for one, uh, for more awareness, if they want to get more educated, I'd like to recommend two websites. Um, one is Polaris Project, so it'd be polarisproject.org, and um, you can just Google Polaris Project. The other would be um, Homeland Security's Blue Campaign. Um, the Homeland Security is part of VCCAT, and they have a, um, a cam campaign that has uh, excellent information to get educated. Now, before we go, for the viewers, if they note something, what's the first thing that they should do when they are aware, oh, this is a sign, something's wrong here? Who do they call? What do they do? It's a fantastic question. So we definitely want to leave the public with the phone number. If there's any tips to be made um, from the public, they can report that to the National Human Trafficking Hotline, and they take uh, tips. 24 hours a day, seven days a week, or law enforcement. Um, the National Human Trafficking Hotline number is one 3788 And if anybody's looking for support, if they're a survivor themselves, they can call Interfaces Hotline 24 hours a day, seven days a week as well. And we're at 1-800-636-6738. Thank you so much, April Thank and you. Ruth. Thank Very you. Very interesting. Thank you.